Hello Virgo, this is Amber with Lives in Sync Tarot. Thank you so much again for coming back. This will be your reading for March 1st through 15th. And let's see what we got for you. So this card is your higher self giving you a message. Um, and this is pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Okay. And I'm hearing that's more about keeping an open mind. Keeping an open mind and being perceptive about others. Okay, don't think one way or another about what someone is thinking. Keep your conclusions well-rounded. Thank you, Spirit. That's what I'm hearing, okay? The same well-roundedness that you give to yourself. Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. What is happening? Okay. <laughs> Let me see if I can move this to block some of that sunlight. Uh, that didn't really work, but we'll go with it. Okay. <laughs> So, um, this is just about you surrendering to the beauty that is within yourself, not following some sort of path that you need to follow, not doing all the things that you need to do, but just being present in the magic that is you and the and what you have to offer. Okay. Your small intuitive read is obstacles and challenges and positive movement forward. So right now you're being led on a path. You're on a spiritual path right now. Okay. And it's about actually finding you and who you are. You're actually moving forward. You're on a positive, you're on the right path. It's just a little challenging because it's different from what you know, okay? And I feel like you're trying to kind of jump back and grasp the things that make you feel grounded to your old path, but it's time for you to proceed to a new one. Thank you, Spirit. That's really, really what I'm feeling here, okay? Okay, so your reading, you have the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the High Priestess, I knew she was going to come up because this is a journey. The Two of Pentacles. The Moon card. Yeah, this is about right. The Seven of Pentacles. The Page of Coins or Pentacles. The Five of Swords. The Three of Swords, the Knight of Swords. Okay, Virgo, your overall energy is the Knight of Swords. That could be an air sign coming in. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but um, I really don't think so. I feel like that's you. This is what I'm, this is a weird feeling, but I feel like you're trying to, yeah, I feel like you're trying to grasp onto things. I feel like you're trying to, you're being very opinionated and action oriented on trying to find things to grasp onto that makes sense that 
um, you can talk to like maybe you need someone to talk to on a, a, a new level and you're just yeah you're trying to find balance that's what you're doing okay because things are changing within yourself spiritually probably mentally and you're trying to find balance but you need to make better judgments okay it's time for you to face the reality of what you're resisting and actually move forward all right wow this is gonna be intense huh virgo okay this is probably for one person specifically because i mean this is pretty this is pretty intense like a personal reading for a general reading so I don't know okay in your past you have the five of cups so something happened to make you feel sad to make you feel lonely okay uh, I'm feeling ab actually abandoned with this something that you felt was yours or that you had a grasp upon you didn't really have the grasp on it okay so it left or went away or um leaving you to feel by yourself even though you had good things happening in your life you were still thinking about that situation but the thing is you had the five of swords come up, which means that you actually worked on making this happen. Um, you really fought to, to fix the situation, but to no avail, it didn't help. Okay. Um, you were trying to make the most out of what it was because you felt like this would have been better for you i'm feeling like you let something go or stepped away from something because you felt like it would be better for you but you were sad about it obviously because it was something that you really wanted to try to hold on to because you fall for it okay and you, I'm getting this feeling like you feel like it's slipping from your fingers. This is in the past. You felt like it was slipping from your fingers. So there was some communication or some news coming in either from that person or you sent that news in to try to get this stability back that you had, okay? Or what you thought was stability. But I'm hearing spirits say there was a reason why it left. Okay. Um, or there's a reason why it wasn't there. And I noticed that we all have a tendency to focus on the things that we want. And we don't focus on the reasons why spirit let it leave our lives. Okay. Or the universe, I should say, divine energy. So right now you're focusing on getting that opportunity back to have something secure. Okay. Um, so you made a move or some news came in or there was some sort of action. Yeah. Um, maybe you're trying to be friends with this person. Maybe your friends and family are helping you out. Um, but I feel like you're entering back into this situation on a, there we go, on a friendly level to release some of that pain because you feel like you've learned from your mistakes, question mark. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Let's just leave that there. Or you either felt like they learned from their mistakes and they're trying to be your friend. There's some sort of friendly situation involved. I, I can tell you that. 
Okay. This came flipping right up. Okay. Temperance. Please, please, Virgo, go into this with moderation. Don't just say it. <laughs> Do it. Please. Be. It's very important. I can feel it all over me. Please do this with moderation. Please. And in your near future, you have the high priestess. Meaning that you're going to get some sort of epiphany. Maybe a dream comes to you. Some sort of awareness about what's going on. Okay. Some sort of an enlightenment on your situation or who you are or what you need. Okay. Okay, it's going to have something to do with th this relationship, okay? It's going to have something to do with there being a lack of give and take. Um, what love really means to you. Okay, making that decision to be in a union with someone. Making sure that they want to give you the same amount of love that you want to give them. Structure. Structure is important. I feel like some of you are trying to trying to do some kind of unconventional relationship or moving towards something that's unconventional. I'm sorry. Unconventional, like a friends with benefits type of thing, um, a three per a monogamous a monogamous, Lord Jesus. A <laughs> A polyamorous relationship, something that's a little different from the norm, but it's going to be a problem for you because of the give and take aspect. It's not exactly what you're looking for. And that's where this comes in. Okay. That's where the high priestess comes in to tell you that that's not going to work for you. Or to reevaluate what you're actually looking forward. I mean, what's actually best for you. Okay. I'm hearing self-worth a lot. Okay. Self-worth is what I'm hearing in my, in my head. Um, these are your hopes. Two of Pentacles. Your hopes are that things can become balanced. Now um, that this can become something that you want it to be. That it can actually have a future. See, I'm getting this feeling like you're trying to tame this person. But I really don't see that happening. Those are your hopes, but I just see you making that mistake, making the mistakes over again. Hmm. Your strengths are the moon card. So your strengths are that you're in some sort of shield, like you can't see everything. And it's so weird because it's like a protection. Even though you need to see what's happening, it's like a protection for you. So <laughs> for you, it feels like a strength, but it's not really a strength. OK, um, you feel protected and not knowing. Thank you, spirit, that that's what it is, which is 
I don't know why that's coming up. Just take this with a grain of salt. <laughs> um, so what you actually need to see is that where you're headed is heartbreak because it's not going to move towards security the way you need it to. And you're not going to sync up with this person. There's not an emotional maturity here. It, it feels really immature because the, the page of cups came up in reverse and it just doesn't feel secure. It's not going to be the love that you want. Okay. Okay. So these are your fears and that is the nine of pentacles. I'm sorry, seven of pentacles. I can't see because I'm blinded by the light. <laughs> so seven of pentacles. You have a fear that you wasted your time. That you won't receive the love that you deserve. That no one will see the beauty that is within yourself. Like karma isn't on your side. Like it's just not faded. But I'm hearing that you can't make people see the magic that is in you. And I look straight at this. Because you need to remember the magic that is in you. And when you do that. Others will see that and respect that. But you have to walk in that. Okay. And this is your weakness. The page of pentacles. Your weakness is either this person is attempting to offer you something that has no growth. Okay. It really doesn't. It has no growth. Um, you have unrealistic views about this situation, Virgo. I'm just going to leave that there because spirit just told me to stop because the rest of this is going to be pretty self-explanatory. I don't even need these clarifiers. Okay, for the environment, you have the eight of swords. I mean, sorry, the five of swords and that's fighting for something that no one is going to win. No one is going to win. There's no need to fight for this. If you want to stay friends, that's fine. But I really don't feel like you're going to be able to balance your emotions in this situation. But that's really up to you because... You have free will, you know what I mean? Okay. All right, this just took a solemn turn, huh? <laughs> yeah. So this is about feeling abandoned, feeling abandoned and let down, okay? And there being a cloud over your sunny day, meaning that you're okay on your own. You know what I mean? Like there's a lesson that actually needs to be learned here.
And you just need to learn that lesson. I'm hearing self-worth here. I don't... Okay. So your outcome is the Three of Swords. <laughs> and that means if you keep going on this path that you're on right now, it's going to end up in heartbreak and separation and... You're going to have to relearn this lesson again. Okay. Yeah. You're not, you've been working so hard on trying to make security in this relationship and to be independent in your own way, like to try to do things differently that you're going to lose that. You're going to lose that. And this is going to be difficult for you and you're going to have to rebuild again. Yeah, you're going to have to let this go. Okay, you release yourself from this energy or this person or these old thoughts because there's no growth there. There's no growth in this situation. It's just making things more difficult, causing delays into things that are truly meant for you. Okay? And that makes sense that your higher self, pride. I love myself and see myself in everyone. This is all about self-respect and self-love. Having pride in yourself. Surrender to the magic of who you are. Oh my gosh. Yes, Virgo. Okay. I'm going to pull a love card on this just for some emphasis. So you are bringing this person back in. This person is coming back in. And it's really up to you on how how you want to proceed. Okay. It's really up to you. And let me pull one of these. This came right out before I could even try to shuffle. And this is heal, which is number 17. Um, that is the star card. And the star card is all about healing, okay? This happens after something really significant takes a turn in your life, okay? For you to have inspiration or find serenity within yourself. It's time for you to see the divine energy in yourself, okay? That's really what it's about. I feel like you're in a struggle of trying to find maybe love with someone else or some sort of connection but it's all about you connecting with yourself it is i mean it's really important this is a lesson that you're on at the moment okay so i'm gonna pull another card for you this one came flying right out peace I wish that this light would go away. Peace. Okay. Freedom from attachment, radical acceptance. It doesn't get any better than this. A quiet mind, a heart fulfilled, Freedom from want, the soul satisfaction, the way to peace is through radical acceptance. Everything in your world is exactly as it should be. Harmony is beautiful. Enjoy it.
Now is the time for calmness, a well-being of and well-being in spite of temporary conditions. Even if there are dissolute notes in the music of life, all that means is that you must go within and fine-tune the extraordinary instrument that you are. Find harmony within yourself and don't look to the outer world to provide certainty. This too shall pass, and once again your life will be filled with beautiful music. Thank you, Spirit. So, Virgo, this is your reading. Um, thank you so much for listening to me. <laughs> if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a more specific reading on your journey um, or the lesson that you are supposed to learn um, because I feel like this pro this reading probably gave you more questions than answers I'll be more than happy to do one for you and all that information is in the description box below I love you so much good luck on your journey love and light bye bye